inside this stadium were thousands of guardsmen and they're from all over the place. I spoke with some from Oregon, some from Maryland and everywhere in between. And now they are all participating in this tradition more than 200 years in the making. That I will faithfully enforce. This is a big moment. Thousands of young men and women from across the nation taking their oath of duty, just as it's been done for hundreds of years. That history isn't lost on Staff Sergeant Sean May from the Oregon National it's just, Guard. It's a huge event that you really can't understand until you're here on how big it, it really is and it's special to be a part of. May is one of many guardsmen in town for the inauguration. All in all, there are 7,500 of them from 44 states, three territories, and of course here in D.C. Staff Sergeant Nicole Scarpignato is from Maryland. We're here to be a part of history. I've never been able to witness an inauguration in, per per in person before, but in this instance, I actually get to participate in it, and that's a pretty incredible feeling. And the ceremony isn't just for younger guardsmen. Take these two, Command Sergeant Major Wayne Bowser and Chief Warrant Officer Janice Fontanez. Both serve in the D.C. Okay. National Guard, and they've been doing this for almost 40 years. I think the most emotional one uh, was my first one, uh, a little girl from Athens, Georgia, part of the District of Columbia National Guard, and I got to see Reagan. This is something for us, such as what we like to call our Super Bowl. As for Richard Smith, also the Oregon National Guard, he says it's emotional seeing people from across the country come together. Reinforces the, the fact that not only are we National Guardsmen from separate states with our own separate missions of supporting our states, but that we're one National Guard coming together uh, to support our local partners. Now, the National Guard has been doing this for a very long time. The first time they escorted a president was in 1789 when they escorted George Washington from Mount Vernon, Virginia to New York City. Reporting here at FedEx Field, Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.